I've already talked about this quite a bit, and that's that the Audio Hype 2 has a lot of 5K prominentity. And um, honestly, it's pretty fatiguing. I've talked about it in the past, but yeah, I was listening to a bunch of music and stuff, and that 5 kilohertz prominentity was, again, it's kind of like a fish hook in the roof of my mouth. That's how I perceive it, like the vowels and everything. It's just a lot of pressure at 5K. And it kind of started to remind me, doesn't the Sennheiser HD 650, 660S, all of those have that horrible 5K peak. And yeah, it does. So I decided just for shits and giggles to pull up some of these Sennheiser headphones and compare it to the Hype 2. Um, so let's look. So this is the Hype 2 versus the Sennheiser HD 650s. And, um, you know, I could bring in some more uh, just for shits and giggles, like the, um, um, well, 660S is the 660S here, um, 600, 650, 58X, I guess, I guess I could do the 58X. So we can see these three different headphones, um, let's get rid of the, uh, 650 for a second and look at the 58x jubilee versus the hype 2 um as we can see the sennheiser headphones are uh much more darker tilted than the um hype 2 um and that the hype 2 has a huge bass boost okay so when i'm listening to music and stuff this this little 5k peak right here on the uh, Hype 2 actually is very fatiguing to me. It's actually very fatiguing. It's like the, th the, the main thing that I hear when I'm listening to these. Just this, you know, kind of fish hook in the roof of my mouth feeling. And I can only imagine the people that buy the 58X Jubilee, the 660S, who have that 5.5K peak. That huge monstrosity compared to that. You know? And then again, you get a lot of bass. Yeah, yeah, boy, you get a lot of bass. Yeah, boy. So, you know, when we look at my target, is my target here? No, it's not. Um, again, we could, we could pull up my target. Um, so, you know, that 5K peak is really bad. And then there's, there's like, like a 4.2K 4 cut on the 5.8X and no treble. Huge 5.5k peak, even that little 5k point 5k, that little 5k peak. Like, okay, look, get rid of the 58x, bring in the 600, 650. Now, again, the 600 smoothed out, so we might as well just look at the 650 alone. The when I had the HD 650, um, you know, my perception of it mm. was the bass was too lifeless, it needed more bass, things just didn't sound like they had enough power. Uh, I remember hearing nothing but 5k just 5k and then the treble jumps off a cliff so everything that i was listening to was just 5k 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 just this subtle pressure in the roof of my mouth all day every day 5k and then treble just audibly jumping off a cliff so i could hear all the way up to 5k which had this pressure build up in my oral cavity that's the way i perceive it and feel it and then just nothing above that, just darkness. So it was a very dark 5K, and, 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 but when I'm listening to the hype too, yeah, I can hear the treble extension. I can hear the brighter treble up here as opposed to this, but that 5K peak is still there. It's still, it's still fatiguing. It's still bothering me to an obnoxious degree. And, you know, you could listen to this and, you know, feel that fatigue, hear that fatigue, and not realize it's just one little frequency, you know. And when I listen to, um, you know, the EM6L, I don't have that problem. You know, I talk about how, how it has some prominentity around 4K, but that doesn't bother me. Like, I don't audibly notice it when I listen to it. Because it's, you know... So we can see the, the pink line, the EM6L. This, this little thing right here, that, that bothers me to no end, this peak right here. And we can see on the EM6L it's a bit smoother there, 
that little lump right there that little lump you know the this this region right here bothers the living crap out of me bothers the living crap out of me for some reason it is just fatiguing as shit it bothers me so much um <laughs> i can't explain it it is so bad and it, it's on the Sennheisers too that's the whole point of this video Sennheiser 5k peak a lot of people like i the, the the hype too are actually pretty ruined because of that that excessive amount of energy at 5k it just bothers the living crap out of me you know i was gonna say nice things about the hype too but it just bothers the living crap out of me because of that 5k peak and i remember making videos about this you know i was i was like oh the hype for you know the hype for alleviates that i believe you know the hype for alleviates that five you know 5k peak but then it has a bigger hole in the treble around 10k you know so i t i talked about all this and they have the hype 10 friggin hype 10 which has that 5k peak again hard to see but it, it has that oh, the orange was good so that has that 5k peak again look at that the hype 10 imagine spending that much money on the hype 10 and it has that 5k peak as well and i was kind of talking about how the hype 4 you know probably sounds a little bit better but then there's a big hole in the the treble you know Which is the reason why you might as well just get the EM6L. It, it just, I find it much more tolerable throughout the upper mids and treble. That, that green 5k peak just bothers the living crap out of me. And, it, you know, these are subtle differences, but my God. You know, you could look at this and be like, isn't that good enough? Look, they look almost identical. That 5k peak bothers me so goddamn much this peak bothers me so goddamn much it's it's insane and i can't believe that there are so many people with sennheiser headphones that have that peak that peak that peak even you know that like jumps off a cliff after 5k it's terrible it's terrible <clears throat> Again, like, I mean, I, I can't express enough how good the DT990s are and the uh, EM6L are. You know, it, so many people lose their mind when I tell them that the, the DT990 have smooth, amazing mm. treble because they're known for having piercing treble with fresh pads. But, I mean, that is nice. That is nice and clean, smooth, no blunt piercing object, pressure point. It's amazing. So, I'll see you guys later. Um, I, I, I just, 5.5k lumps, peaks, I, I can't stand them, to be honest. I'll see you guys later.